My friends, soul tribe breeding. I hope you're doing well. Before I start, you know, channeling and forget what I want to talk about. <laughs> Somebody specifically asked me about this necklace. I actually got this necklace in a crystal shop um, near where I live and it's a Celtic necklace. And I actually didn't know what it meant. I picked it from the display in the shop and I had my kids with me and they were younger at the time. I mean, this was a year ago, but um, I didn't know what it was. And so when I got to the cash and they're like, oh, you want the, you want the sex one. And my kids were like, oh my gosh, mommy, you're getting a sex necklace <laughs> anyway. <laughs> But um, when you asked what it meant, you there was a subscriber that asked, um, they need to know more about this necklace. Um, so it's meant to be a tree. If you look at it, that's meant to be the trunk. And then these are the roots. And then that's the tree. And I, I went online and I found in the depths of the internet, I found it. And I found the description that comes with it. When you buy it, it comes with like a little card. Um, and it's titled Sexuality. To the Celts, the tree was the symbol of sexual potency, the fertility innate in all nature. So that's what it means. Um, anyway, there you go. I'm a little, I don't know why I'm embarrassed to tell you that. <laughs> and the other thing I wanted to talk about was um, this morning I came across a clip of a movie that I had never seen before. And it has Matt Damon in it. And somebody, you know, somebody mentioned like, oh, you know, if you're into Twin Flames, you should watch it. And I'm like, well, I'm going to watch it. <laughs> um, I'm not finished it yet. But oh my gosh, um, I don't think I would have appreciated it if I had seen it like years ago when it was made. But it's called The Adjustment Bureau. And um, it's very interesting because it's kind of like... The Adjustment Bureau, Bureau keeps you on your trajectory, your, your soul path. It keeps you on your soul path. And they talk about like if you veer away from your soul path, um, they'll stop you. They'll create like a tower moment or they'll put something in your way. Um, very interesting movie. Very interesting movie. And one of my favorite parts of it, I'm not spoiling, I hope I'm not spoiling anything, was they were trying to... If you're into counterparts, you'll understand why this is my favorite part. But they were trying to keep the main character from another character. And they were saying, they were like rushing to stop this encounter. And they said, as soon as he sees her dance, that's going to be it. There's going to be like, we're not going to be able to stop it. Um, and it hit me, you know, right away that her dancing, I didn't even know she was a dancer. Um, her dancing was her soul path. It was her soul's mission, her passion. Um, and of course, when he saw her dance, he was completely mesmerized, um, because she was, you know, shining her soul spark. Anyway, <laughs> I just wanted to bring it up. If you're looking for a movie to watch, um, I, I watched it on Amazon. I'm not done it yet. Amazon Prime. The Adjustment Bureau. It's worth checking out. Anyway, I just had to get that out. <laughs> um, my hair looks really interesting today. I don't know how I did that. <laughs> I'm just going to be completely vulnerable. I am not, you know, I've never been super feminine. <laughs> and I've never been into like doing my hair. And I remember in high school, I know I've mentioned it in a reading. Um, I remember in high school, I was made fun of and girls would be like, why don't you put in more of an effort? Like, why don't you ever do anything with your hair? Um, I always, and I always liked wearing my hair down. Um, anyway, um, I don't know how to do hairstyles and I have no idea how I did that one, but <laughs> I was like, oh, that looks really nice. <laughs> I have no idea how I did it. <laughs> um, it was serendipitous. Like I did not mean to do it. Um, interesting. We have, I, at the last minute, I had another deck picked out for you. And at the last minute, I picked up this fortune oracle deck for you. Um, my guides were like that one. Um, I had a different deck deck picked out. Um, but this one 
We have eagle on the bottom. There is no limit to what I can manifest in my life. Truth. Um, somebody, I saw a really cool thing today that if you're someone who's having a problem manifesting things because when you say your affirmations, subconsciously, you know, a lot of us don't believe them because we're talking in present tense. And then there's that layer of subconscious that maybe you don't feel it, but there's a part of you that doesn't believe in it. And it stops your manifestations from coming in. So this person was saying change from talking about being in present tense, if you're having a problem manifesting, change it to I invite in healing, I invite in new love, I invite in wealth, I invite in this, like, anyway, just, I felt the need to share that. <laughs> I don't know why. Um, anyway, yesterday, I think it's interesting that I wanted to get this deck because yesterday, the eagle came out, I'm hearing um, Lord of the Rings, the eagles, <laughs> the eagles are coming. Um, but yesterday, I kept pointing out the energy of the bird, the hawk, the eagle, whatever it was. Um, so I think I just had the lovers pop off. Um, weird. Anyway. Do I want to read that? I'm going to sit with it for a minute. Let's go to the eagle. <laughs> I can already hear some of you are like, read it. <laughs> um, interesting. It's on page 24, which equals six. And the card is number nine. Um, so 96 could be symbolic 69. Um, you know, you could resonate with counterparts. So there's, there's the card and then there's for personal relationships and then there's career and money. So we're going to read it all. Um, you will soar towards your destiny with greater clarity and strength. Beautiful, because you can see things from a higher perspective now. We also see you flying over obstacles. If you look at the mountains, the mountains can represent obstacles. Um, there's even a rainbow in there. Magical, magical. Um, beautiful. The magnificent eagle flies high above the ground and is able to survey all that is below and beyond. Similarly, you will be able to look at your challenges and see the whole picture as never before. With the gift of clear, keen vision, as I'm like struggling to read this, thinking about where are my glasses within reach? <laughs> Um, with the gift of clear, keen vision and the freedom to achieve your hopes and dreams, like the eagle's sharp talons, you will be able to grab hold of your destiny. Do not hesitate or else you will miss your chance. Strength, I, I don't know if you'll miss your chance because I believe that what's meant for you will find you, will, you'll realign with it. I believe that when we make a decision, if we make the wrong decision, we're not actually making the wrong decision. We're just choosing a different path than the one that might get us there quicker. So maybe, you know, maybe if you don't act right now, you know, I believe you'll still, I believe you'll still receive what's destined for you, but at a later date. Does that make sense? It makes sense to me. <laughs> anyway, um... You may be recovering from trauma or bad luck, been indecisive or making wrong choices. That is going to change. Believe in the eagle's power and you will soar. Obstacles will only bring you closer to your goals. Be confident they will remain within your reach as you glide towards your destiny. Can I just tell you guys about something like really, um, it's like, you know, pointless information about me, but um, I've been... It's interesting when you reflect on lessons and triggers and like, why am I feeling this way? And the other day, something happened between me and another person, a friend, and they asked me to do something I really didn't want to do. Like they asked me to, it's not anything bad. It's really like, it's so simple and silly to anyone else. They would probably be like, why are you even thinking about that? Like, why are you even, um just say no. Like, who cares? Just say no. 
But for me, it was like a whole big lesson. I was about to swear, but YouTube doesn't like that. So they asked me to do this people pleasy thing and I didn't I didn't want to do it and everything excuse you everything in my I was saying excuse you to my cat for those of you who don't know who I'm talking to <laughs> um what was I saying they wanted me to do this thing and my whole body was like don't say yes to that you don't want to do it you feel like that's not fair to you don't do it and I, I, I hesitated, like my old self would have been like so quick to just be like, yes, people, please, people, please, people, please. But I felt stuck. Like I couldn't say no, but I couldn't say yes. Um, and again, it's such a small thing that most people would just be like, whatever, just say no. But I knew that I was uncomfortable people pleasing in that situation and that I deserved more respect. And it took me three days, three days to answer this person, three days um, to say no to this person. It took me three days. They asked me again last night and I was like, oh, I forgot. <laughs> I was like, oh, I forgot. I don't, I forgot, <laughs> I, you know, I'll, uh, I'll get back to you tomorrow. <laughs> And then this morning, like I, it took me so much to say no. And I was like, I felt like I had climbed a mountain. They didn't even say anything. They didn't even care that I said no. <laughs> like, <laughs> anyway, I made it a mountain, you know, but I don't know why I felt the need to tell you that. Um, there's lessons in everything. I am, I'm determined to see the lesson in everything. <laughs> Anyway, obstacles, it felt like an obstacle. And I felt like instead of just people pleasing and then feeling mad at myself because I people pleased and I'm the one that's going out of my way, um, I said no. Anyway, <laughs> clearly I'm still struggling with it. Um, this card also represents spiritual protection. Legend says... It is the eagle that carries your prayers to the heavens. Be assured that the eagle will impart much spiritual knowledge to you on your journey and can help you feel connected to your guides. Beautiful. Eagles are beautiful. I always feel like it's a little bit magical when you see an eagle, you know? Anyway. Personal and relationships. A relationship that has been troublesome will either resolve itself and grow stronger or you will decide to let go of it. <laughs> for anyone who was in my soul tribe reading you guys are so sweet when I like you're like you're a human too this is your journey too you're allowed to have feelings <laughs> um I'm so not used to that um but it's interesting because yesterday I was talking about you know sometimes we have to let certain relationships kind of dissolve out of our life anyway the eagle's power can also make you more charismatic to the opposite sex and your easy strength may attract new suitors. Suitors? 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 <laughs> um, that's interesting, um, especially because I started the reading talking about this necklace being the symbol, I had to write it down, the symbol of sexual potency. So you could be, you know, glowing right now. You could be given off, um, you know... I heard pheromones. I don't know why I heard that. But you could be, you know, given off some sexy vibes, you know? You could be given off some... It's like Queen of Wands, King of Wands vibes. Very charismatic energy. Um, very confident. And that's what pulls in attention, you know? Um, so I, I didn't know if I was going to take this card, remember? And now I'm going to take it. Because this one... Hello, person from Instagram. Um, this one, this lover's card came out. And the way that that was talking about um, perhaps someone approaching you. Let's have a look. I need to go back, though. I I opened right up. I opened right up. I opened the book right up. Anyway, 
I opened right up to it, is what I'm trying to say. So, I forgot to read career, so we're going back. Rewind. Take a major leap forward in your progress. The potential to achieve greatness is yours. Another card about going for it, putting yourself out there, taking that leap, believing in yourself. We all believe in you. Um, I don't know why, but I just started hearing... <laughs> I just started hearing, um, is it Horton Hears a Who? When all the Who's are, we are here, we are here, <laughs> we are here, <laughs> we are here for you, we're supporting you, your soul tribe's got you. Um, you could land your dream job or gain extra money from a pay rise, job offer, inheritance, or lucky win. Your charm on the work front may also help you snare that deal, or you may finally receive recognition of past efforts. Beautiful. Now, let's get to this lover's card that came up. Because I want to know what it is. There are two paths ahead. Be true to yourself. So I need to read this. This may not resonate with all of you, but I need to read this. Right away, I was hearing um, vulnerability, opening your, like, I'm seeing this... Um, exposed neck that came out in a like a counterpart reading I did last week or something um so it feels like maybe you know I don't know maybe you're giving off the vibe like I'm seeing birds I don't know why I'm seeing birds like the mating <laughs> the mating of birds um like you know when the male decorates the home with colored things to attract a female and then there's things the female does, like, anyway. <laughs> um, for some of you, you could be attracting in someone here, like opening up to someone. I'm just seeing vulnerability. Um, anyway, this card represents major life choices. Decisions surrounding love relationships are of utmost importance. And there may be two paths to take now or in the future. One will be very positive and one may be a more negative turn. Be true to yourself and your feelings. It is crucial to make the right choice. New adventures are new adventures are waiting to begin and a better way of living will open up for you sooner than you think. Look your best at all times to reap the opportunities that are just around the corner. So it could be like I could see this being like a new love, old love situation or a choice between I'm even hearing lovers a choice between yourself and someone else so maybe someone comes towards you that you know you know isn't the best for you and you have to choose yourself um it's possible you know I'm even hearing if this is someone that negative turn like if you take this path your life will take a negative turn um I don't necessarily support that but you know, I am seeing the situation where if this was someone who wasn't good for you or was still, you know, very shadowy with you, this is 18. So this person could have, you know, a lot of shadows. There could be illusions. Um, it could be that you're supposed to choose yourself. So just keep that in mind. Take it as it resonates. Don't let it scare you. Don't take anything that doesn't align with you. Personal relationships. The lover's card can represent a strong sexual connection. It's interesting how I picked this deck, and I'm talking about this necklace. Very interesting. Temptations and affairs are likely where there is a crack in a relationship, which may result in a love triangle that causes much inner conflict and heartache. Many will question current relationships that are not as perfect as they would like, causing uncertainty about which path, path, which path to take. Some may be questioning whether there is a future in a relationship or feeling that there is someone else to meet. Others will make a love commitment. Perfect harmony is obtainable for most. And then career and money. You will need to find the right balance between your personal life and your work and career. Two jobs may be offered to you and you will spend valuable time meeting new people and networking socially. Singles may find love at work functions and career changes in the near future also herald a new relationship. 
Balancing your career and personal life is the key to being successful. It is not the time to neglect your loved ones. They need you now. So make sure I'm seeing two of pentacles. So I was seeing two of pentacles. So if you are someone who, you know, has a lot of work on the go, spirits saying make sure you make time for the friendships in your life, your children, your family, things like that. Even your animals, I'm hearing. Um, but yeah, like I said, that card's not going to resonate with all of you. It was just the way it jumped off the top. I had to get it. So let's see what you need to hear. We have the plane. So you could be traveling. This is talking about a new adventure awaits. Um, this could be travel, like literal travel. It could just be a new beginning. We also have you coming out of this patch of thorns, which I was talking about in a reading the other day. It was a love reading, but um, there's a lover's card that shows two lovers coming out of like really thick branches like that. Um, anyway, thorns, weathering the challenges will bring in a new and positive future. So let's see what that says. This card brings challenges and changes to your life. For a lot of you, I feel like you're already in the thick of it. Um, into the thick of it. <laughs> Out of the thick of it <laughs> is what I'm hearing. Out of the thick of it. There may be heavy burdens, mental, dis mental distress, or disappointments to deal with, but you will discover who your loyal allies are and aren't. Let go of things that no longer serve you as the old ways break down in order to herald the new. Possible chaos around you will test your strength. You have to learn how to roll with the changes. Goals will disappear and be replaced with more realistic ones. Watch out for blah, blah, watch out for smiling assassins and be careful who you trust and confide in at this time. This card can also represent personal suffering, feeling let down, or being in the state of emotional crisis. Be assured this period will pass. Do not be afraid to seek the necessary guidance and take good care of yourself and close family members. So this can also symbolize the end of a significant relationship that has proved difficult. The relationship may be saved if you communicate with your friends, family, or partner and clear the air. A gentle confrontation can settle the difference. So it could be that someone who... You know, you could be attracting in someone you had an ending with, someone who, a relationship that proved difficult. And it's saying a gentle confrontation could settle the difference. Um, maybe that's why that lover's card came out for some of you. That's not going to resonate for all of you. Har I just threw down the card and I'm supposed to be reading. Harmony is the key to survival. Um, avoid arguments and keep tempers in control, especially during Mercury and retrograde. Um, it's interesting because I've been seeing all these people like kind of in the spotlight. Um, you know, I talked to you about that social media person that everyone was going after and he was trying to defend himself. Um, I've recently seen like spiritual people, spiritual advisors, tarot readers saying, just zip it. If somebody does you wrong, just don't don't say anything until August 20, after August 25th because people are getting a lot of heat for the things they're saying right now. People are, you know, communicating. Um, I'm not talking about like this. I'm talking about if somebody makes you upset, um, right now, instead of retaliating online or retaliating through communication, um, we're being asked to wait until after August 25th because Mercury is in retrograde and it messes up communication. Um, but it's like multiple people this is happening to right now in the spotlight. Um, and... I've been seeing more and more readings about just zip it, just stop talking. Like if you want to, if you're feeling emotional, just zip it right now. Um, journal about it, you know? Anyway. 
Um, money issues could arise and major decisions need to be made. Avoid get rich quick schemes. It will be tough to watch your bank. It will be tough to watch your bank balance and stick to budgets with many bills arriving, but you will get through this period and changes will bring in a stronger and newer you. You will be ready to take on some fresh projects, rebuild, and enjoy a more positive outlook. It's interesting. We're getting some different types of energy today, which always, you know, I like that because we're all going through different things and we all need different advice. So um, we also have a journey as indicated either physically or metaphorically, your life will become more full. So spirits telling me to read that one now. A journey is in, I have already read that. That is so interesting. When I opened this book, I opened to the Phoenix instead of this card. Um, and underneath the plane is the Phoenix. That's magic. Um, that's magical. Travel is indicated. You may have felt stuck in your career, your life choices, or in a relationship. Whether there have, let me hold it close so you can visualize the plane. Visualize, my friend, visualize. Um, where was I? Apparently I can't think like that. Um, whatever it is, there have been feelings of wanting to escape. Negative feelings no longer serve you. It is time to accept what you must do to make your life fuller. Take back control of your life where and where you want it to head. Beautiful. I was thinking about that today. There's a personal evolution taking place as this card also represents another level of knowledge. Ascending. Have you been seeing planes heading upward recently? You know, have you been coming across planes that are ascending? Sign. A change in priorities, creative exploration, or new adventures are likely, especially in the area of self-discovery. What seemed important to you may no longer be on your bucket list as you have grown as a person. Sometimes the card can represent a fear of travel or change, and the card suggests solutions may be coming. Remember, you are in complete control of your destiny. Travel will bring love for singles and chance meetings will incite feelings that you may not have experienced for a long time. Try different holiday destinations and be inspired. Cruises are very auspicious for meeting that special someone. Family travel goes particularly well and is filled with fun and laughter. Great friends and lifelong happy memories are being made. And for career and money, a new job is likely, and a course of study is also on the cards. You will finally find direction and uncover your purpose in life. It is best to get moving quickly, though. Action is needed as good times await. The plane card also indicates this is not time to sit on the fence. Get things moving quickly. Beautiful. So, let me just look at this Phoenix card, because that was weird how that all happened. Um, yep, I'm going to read it. It happened for a reason. The immortal phoenix rises from the ashes and is reborn to magnificence. You could be experiencing or just have experienced some major crisis such as a breakup of an important relationship a failed business or project, job loss, academic failure, or the death of someone close to you that has left you devastated. The Phoenix will renew you. You will be released from the past. This is on page 56, 11. Representing power and prosperity in all areas of your life, the Phoenix is a symbol of freedom to do what you have always wanted to do. You will have an increased vision for your long-term goals. Get ready for the new positive you to emerge brilliant, brilliantly. Shine your light. Shine your light. Look for more meaning in your relationships. Don't waste time on those that don't have a future. There will be a psychic connection with new friends and lovers. Existing connections, existing relationships will grow stronger 
or get left behind as you embrace a fresh chapter in your life. This card also favors a positive relationship union, compromising very yin and yang commitments and highlights the birth of a child. Interesting. Career and money. Now is a big, magnificent time for career and finances, especially for those who remain positive and make a necessary change to their current life. Your aura is sparkling and you can make your dreams a reality. You can rise to the top of your career and your finances will improve. Your creative side will come out and talents you didn't even realize you had will emerge. Beautiful. Beautiful. I love that. So we're going to leave it there with those. Spirit told me that was enough. And now I'm going to get you one of these. This is the Sacred Forest Oracle. We have letting go on the top. Interesting, letting go. I spilled these all over the floor the other day. This is not the deck that that card came from, by the way. <laughs> the card that I found randomly. I am I saw this card for a reason, letting go. Relinquish control and let spirit take over. You don't need to do, I want to show you that. You don't need to do everything yourself. Release whatever in life doesn't serve you. Clutter, clear your life. Simply open your heart, let go, and allow spirit to help and support you. Um, I'm not going to read the whole thing, but I did read the little, the little blurb for you. Um, so releasing control over what no no longer what no longer serves you um one four three on the timer i love you i didn't tell you that i loved you today i'm sorry i love you <laughs> i didn't tell you that i loved you yet spirit was reminding me new beginnings beautiful beautiful new beginnings 10 wheel of fortune things are changing something something's coming I love that daffodils, the symbol of hope. Beautiful. Keep hope alive. You have a new beginning coming here, whatever that means to you. It's time to start a new project or new cycle. Life force and vitality are emerging. Release that which doesn't serve you. Like how many times do, do we get it? Like spirit really wants us to get it. Like four cards today with that two, three, four on the timer with that message. Um, we get it, spirit. We're supposed to be releasing what no longer serves us, including our ego, you know, our fear. You feel a tap on your shoulder and in a flash of yellow, you see a daffodil fairy fly by you. In a high, sweet voice, she says, the best is yet to be. It's time for a new beginning. With glee, you race after her into the forest. Beautiful. I love it. I love it. Life goes in cycles. Just as spring follows winter, a new cycle is beginning in your life. In the phases of the earth, the plants die in the fall so that there can be new birth in the spring. It's the universal dance of life and it's the universal dance of death and rebirth. There's a time to end and begin. And this is the close of one cycle and the beginning of another. Wheel of Fortune energy. We associate the daffodil with spring, as it is one of the first flowers to emerge after the snow. Its shape echoes the feeling of trumpeting in the new season. Its colors suggest vitality, radiance, and sunshine. The appearance of this card brings a message to wipe the slate clean. It's time to release the old and start again. It can be difficult to release familiar routines, situations, or relationships when they no longer empower you. However, your higher self encourages you not to cling to the old, but to set sail into new waters. If you do find yourself afraid to let go, Daffodil Fairy urges you to face your fear and allow yourself to stretch in a new direction. The creator is at your side, and wonderful opportunities will be born in your life. Wholeness occurs when you can say yes to both endings and beginnings. Beautiful. I love that that came out. So let's see. What do we need to hear, Spirit? What do we need to hear? New beginnings. 
New beginnings. What do we need to hear? Let's not take all of those. Four, five, six on the timer. We have passage, standing stones. So let's have a look. 40. 40. This is another one of my, this is my second favorite Oracle deck. It was the second Oracle deck that I bought. This was, this was one of the first ones, the one I used, the one I used yesterday. And then this one was the next one I bought after that. As you walk, you come across a large vertical stone. You come across large vertical stones standing in the, standing in a circle in the center of a sacred forest. You know that to step inside this sacred ring is to not be undertaken lightly. It is an act of power. With solemn grace, you enter. Immediately, you feel a shift occur within you. It's as if the floodgates of your soul have opened and there is a download of cosmic information occurring within you. Many believe that standing stones are a place that allows one to embark on a spiritual journey from one realm to another. They can also mark the transition from one stage of life to another. Remember that although life changes, you are eternal. Celebrate all transitions in life and you'll experience profound harmony. A voyage of the heart and soul is ahead. Another voyage, another trip, synchronicity. Um, this journey may be spiritual or physical in nature. In either case, it's a kind of sacred pilgrimage. Have courage. A great ship can stay safe in a harbor, but that is not what great ships are made of. Be willing to unfurl your sails and set forth into the open seas. The seas might be rough and the wind is strong, but you are safe and protected. The circle of stones takes you exactly where you need to go. Since the earliest days of humanity, standing stones have been created as places as places of ceremonies and as ways and as ways to honor the divine. That does not sound right to me, but okay. And as a way, that's how it it's it feels better, and as a way to honor the divine. Archaeologists have found, that's like the funniest thing ever, me, um, <laughs> me critiquing um, grammar and things like that. That just makes me laugh. <laughs> um, archaeologists have found some that date back to 4000 BCE. Neolithic people didn't have written language, yet their art and stone circles, sometimes oval or horseshoe shaped, suggests that they held religious rituals at these ceremonial meeting places. <clears throat> My throat's completely closed over. The spirit of the standing so stone says, a sacred journey is ahead. Deeper meaning is waiting to be discovered. You are safe. Beautiful. And we'll just get one more from this deck. One more, spirit, one more. One more, please. Spirit, you're so funny. <laughs> the Phoenix. Listen, Spirit's so funny. This was on the bottom of the deck and I looked at it. I, I, I looked at it. I acknowledged it and I was like, no, I'm just going to shuffle. And I shuffled sev <clears throat> several times and this is what came out. So I think that's funny. Um, 33. Stillness. In silence, you'll find the dwelling place of your soul. Take time to move into quietude and you'll uncover a vast store of insight emerging within you. In ongoing situations in your life, take time to reflect before responding. So take time to reflect before communicating, before responding to communication, before reacting. Um, think about why you're feeling that way. When that happened between me and that person and I had to say no, I realized, like, why is this bugging me so much? I reflected on it, right? And what I realized was that it was triggering another one of those pesky childhood wounds. It was, um, it had to do with my father. 
Um, and that's why I had such a big reaction to it. And that's why it was so important for me to say no. Um, it took me three days to say no. In stillness, your power emerges. Tap into your inner stillness and discover the dwelling place of your soul. In profound peace and silence, you can discover the truth of your being. For some of you, like this is about divine feminine energy, because if you look at that reflection, swan. Um, so some of you could resonate with divine counterparts. Doesn't have to. In profound peace and silence, you can discover the truth of your being. I know I already read that, but I felt like I needed to reread it. If you are in pain, go into stillness until you find the source. Resist the temptation to indulge in feelings of overwhelm, urgency, and emergency. There's always a higher truth. Seek it out. Your soul loves what is real and what is honest. In quiet quietude, the truth emerges. Move past the bustle and chatter of life into sweet stillness. Allow the chaos of the outer world to roll off your back the way water rolls off the back of a duck. Surrender to it. Seek solitude to hear the voice of spirit and serenity will follow. And then we have the phoenix, which is number 29. And it's on page 92, so maybe look up, um, especially if you're a counterpart, look up um, 2992. <clears throat> a big change is at hand in your life. What feels like an ending is really a beginning. Same message, magic. Rising out of the flames and ashes, you are entering a new cycle. Even if life seems murky in areas, this is only the clearing before a rebirth. Hang in there. The best is yet to come. That other card said the best is yet to come. Is that a song? Why am I hearing a song attached to that statement? I know you guys will help me. <laughs> Your life is changing, perhaps in ways that you didn't expect, but it is wildly wonderful. Transmutation is the act of changing from one state of being or one element into another. The phoenix is legendary for his transmutation in fire. In the flames, he is reborn, leaving behind his old and tired self to become a passionate, wild, and free bird. That is beautiful. Something that you might have thought would never change is changing into something amazing. It's not an ending, rather it is a bright, shiny new beginning. Situations that seem lackluster are transmuting into fabulous opportunities. Release expectations and limited thinkings, thinking, for things are not as they seem. Beautiful. Um, just in case you watched that movie, just think of me. Um, I thought it was like, how can I say this without giving anything away? It was kind of like the universe was telling him, here's everything that will happen if you follow your soul path. And he was like, I don't care. I want to, I'm going to follow my heart anyway. <laughs> um, it reminded me of like his energy in that movie. I'm not done it. Reminds me of chaser energy. Um, I resonated with that. I'm a chaser. <laughs> um, not anymore. I just heard not anymore. That's the old you. So I'm going to get, I do not believe in accidents. The weird things that happen in these readings, I just accidentally only picked up that much of the deck, leaving behind this. And we have transmutation, which we were just talking about with the Phoenix card. I have the ability to transmute negative feelings into positive ones, and I will exercise it at will. The next time someone frustrates, annoys, eats tuna too close to me, I will lean in towards kindness and acceptance rather than stabbiness and loathing. <laughs> but if they're also humming while eating, then that tuna, then all bets are off. <laughs> Cute. So yeah, these are just some fun affirmations for us, my friends. So let's see what we need to hear. those ones. <laughs> but 
those ones, clearly. My best self, I trust that when I'm doing what's best for me and being the happiest version of myself, this is beautiful, the right sorts of relationships will appear in my life. That means I can let go of all of my worries about the future, knowing that my only job is to be happy in this moment, and then in very small letters, while simultaneously attaining a cosmic level of enlightened awareness and total psychological self-actualization. Ah. <laughs> Cute. What else do we have? We have depth. As new people, listen to this. As new people show up in my life, I look for all the weird, wonderful, complex layers below the surface. I can't be surprised by someone's depth of character unless I am willing to peel back the outer layer and go a little deeper. It's like the brand new saying goes, <laughs> don't judge an onion by its haircut. These cards are so freaking cute. They're so cute. Options. As I open to the abundant possibilities of my life's path, I am reminded that I always have unlimited options. Life is a buffet and I allow myself to choose whatever makes me happiest without limiting thoughts like you can't put mac and cheese on your baked potato. That sounds like it might be good though. <laughs> for any of my friends fans, for some reason this card reminds me of the trifle. Is it called a trifle that Rachel ma makes and um, Joey loves? He's like, Ice cream or whatever. Whipped cream, good. Custard, good. Meat, good. <laughs> Confidence. In this moment, I take a step back and look at myself with the pride of a good mother. I see an abundance of, possibil abundance of abilities and also possibilities for you and talents that show up all the time in big and little ways. If I could stick myself on a refrigerator, I would. I would invite all the neighbors over and say, look at that. Can you believe what an A-plus that is? You, you're an A-plus. Beautiful. I don't like the grading system. Can I just say that? I think it's BS. <laughs> Let's just get a few more. They're so much fun. Let's just get a few more. We have story of my life. And you wanted to come out. Acceptance. I accept that no one is perfect. Everyone makes mistakes. And sometimes, frequently, people say things that are mildly bothersome, totally offensive. But at my core, I am pure, unconditional love. And, I, and that love will always outshine any feeling of annoyance, <laughs> desire to strangle. I love these cards. <laughs> that... Love will always outshine the feeling of annoyance, in brackets, desire to strangle, I could ever have about anyone, specifically the one behind the never-ending stream of crazy, misguided Facebook rants. You have a bunch coming out again. We have wholeness. I am complete, whole, and filled with love. I have everything I need. If I ask or look for more, I'm ignoring the love and gifts that are already in my life. Instead, I'll be grateful and acknowledge that anything else would be extra icing on life's cake. FYI to whoever is listening, extra icing is totally welcome as it's obviously the most delicious part. <laughs> These cards just make me so happy. Um, anyway. I care about my feelings, both my own and everyone else's, so I choose to care when speaking to people, especially with those I share DNA and or a bidet. <laughs> care means I'll try not to accidentally make anyone feel bad, which means I won't accidentally feel worse. Then no one will have to try and figure out what accidentally happened when we accidentally spoke like accidental monsters. Oh, that's... Watch your reactions, you know? Reflect before opening that mouth. Space. I'm officially freeing up space in my schedule and dialing my brain buzz down to like an 8, formally an 11. Making space can mean a lot of things, rest, daydreams, Colombian mud baths, but no matter what my preferred position, no, no matter my pervert, nah, no matter my preferred, I just got to go to the next part. 
Where was I? But no matter what my preferred poison of placidity, the point is, is it's time. The point is, it's time to take a beat, empty my mind and reset all these poor little overpushed buttons. Oh, and if I track any Colombian mud in the house, sorry, but I can't clean it up now. I'm busy making space. Beautiful. So, my friends, I'm going to end it there. I'm sending you lots of love and light, and I will see you tomorrow. Have a wonderful evening. I hope, you know, if you want, you should check out that movie and then report back. <laughs> report back to my comment section. Um, I know that some people are going to feel like... I don't think any of you will feel like it's odd. I feel like a lot of you are going to be like, oh my gosh, that is such a cool concept. Um, but anyway very interesting. I'm, I'm looking forward to finishing it, but I hope you have a good night, whatever it is that you're doing. Um, I'm sending you lots of love. If I don't, um, you know, if I don't like your comment, it has nothing to do with you. Sometimes I get scared of my comment section. I know, I know my friends know that, or I know my soul tribe knows that. Um, it's a scary place in there, <laughs> but I'm sending you lots of love and light and I will talk to you soon, my friends. Bye.